Hey, what's up everyone, welcome to another Safety Breakers video review. And today video we gonna take a look at another Diaclone robot figure. Trivers Tridasher from Takara Tomy. Enjoy! In the Takara Tomy's Diaclone reboot toy line, Diaclone used to be a remake of their old original figures. So, they got new concept, and became the own thing. Trivers series is the new Diaclone sub-line. And the main gimmick of this line is customizable. Swap around three sections of body. After open the package you will get one bullet core. Body A, body B, one male Dianot, one female Dianot, two gun barrels, two gun triggers, two gun stocks, two swords, two arms, four clamps, decal sheet, manual and catalog. Speaking of detail, we'll look at bullet core first. As you can see, there are a lot of intricate level detail of panel line. There have tiny details, like headlight paint and green. Windshield is made by clear orange plastic. Cockpit include movable lap bar, which really good addition of detail. Console painted in matte dark gray, not many details here. The body made by red plastic, has some gold painted on gun barrel, and yellow and light details. Thruster part made by separate dark gray plastic. There are so many details around the core piece. If you like my video or my contents, remember to subscribe, like and share. If you like my content give a thumb up, if not give a thumb down. Comment if you want to see in my next content. I will read every comment and answer if possible. For now, let's continue. So, we move on robot mode. To get that, you will need to assembly it, by put the body A, on body B make sure, they will be clicking it together. And then put bullet core in body, by line up the slot. And you get tried Asher in robot mode, or final battle mode, which it writes down in a manual. So, we'll take a look at articulation. Tridasher got really good possibilities. It has 24 points of articulation. Head, on ball joint can move up and side to side. Shoulders, on hinge joint can rotate up and down also in and out. Biceps, using pivot joint can twist 360 degrees. Elbows, using pin joint can bend forward and backward. Forearms, using pivot joint can twist all around. Wrists, using pin joint can bend in and out. Hands, using pivot joint that can rotate around. Fingers, using pin joint that can open and close. Backpack, using pin joint can flap up and down. Waist, can rotate because of connector. Hips, using pivot joint can kick forward and backward. And spread in and out without problem. Upper legs, using pivot joint. Knees, using pin joint can move backward with good range. Ankles, using pin joint can twist side to side and move up and down. You can get really good pose on these things. Tridasher has really nice proportions. A lot of blue, red and black, hit with yellow to make it pop. Head is very lovely sculpt, and design that remind me of some Transformers vibe. And they're still using yellow light piping for an eye, which rarity in modern Transformers these days. Body detail very nice. You can see heat sink detailing very well done. Paint by chrome and orange. We do see little bump detail on fake wheel. Also, hip section gets very nice detail, paint with chrome line and blue to try to not to look like Ricky. Forearms molded to be like gun, and back of forearms there are wheels that use in car mode. Also there are headlight detail, that use for car mode too. The legs get ton of detail. They're designed the pin joints to blend with rest of the legs. Also, inside you will see two giant wheels, which pretty match to forearms. Look around, it's extremely solid and very clean robot. For accessories detailing you get two swords, which there have some nice detail on them. Design like video game, with nicely paint metallic silver. For a D-Max blaster, you need to assembly by using three parts. The design like Halo rail gun with sniper scope. I do not know about, why robot using sniper scope for a reason. Kind of dumb to me. Overall, Tridasher has very cool looking and freshly designed. We take a look at Dianots. Yep. They pretty the same as usual. This set we get red for male Dianot, 
and orange for female Dianon. If you want to look at detail, I give you a previous review below. For gimmick, Tridasher has many peg holes on it. There are 12 peg holes around body. 4 holes on bullet core, 4 for backpack, 2 on shoulders and 2 on feet. So, you can use peg hole to storage accessories, attach weapons or anything come with peg. And Takara Tomi release mini size that we'll get in touch in future. Tridasher can transform into 5 modes. First mode is machine mode, or car mode. The transformation seems a bit easy, but very good engineer. Now you turn robot into a car thingy. In car mode you will see some of detailing exposed like under feet, front and rear rims. The car mode is fine. Very blocky, look kind of like to me a car with bulkier. The disappoint is the paint spot still the same. No more paint deco from here. There has tail light molded, but no paint. Overall, it is just okay mode not thing special. Next mode is top machine high speed driving form, and flight form. Technically it's car mode without rear half. Extremely easy and simple. Just pull out the rear part and... Voila! There you go. These two modes are nothing seem to interest. One just three wheel car and other is flying torso. Feel like just bonus that nothing useful. Next mode is bottom machine A and B connection. They just like bring bottom half, and attach with bullet core but with different ways. I have found these two mode way better than other half. In B connection you will get space vehicle vibe, while A connection feel like command and conquer tank. Last mode is mech mode. Mech mode like half of transformation. Anyway, you just hiding the head and hiding the hand and that is it. The mech mode look fine. Nothing interesting. So, there are many things to complain this figure. First of, is the price of this set super expensive, and feels like lack of play value. Well, technically Diaclone set is usual expensive, but even expensive, at least you will have a function gimmick, and more play value. Tridasher give you combination gimmick, which work only with Triver series. Only thing you need to buy addition buy another Triver set, to make play options. Unlike previous set you can combine anything, and make variety of play options. Also, this set cannot play with powered system, and previous Diaclone set, which is disappoint. Here is size comparison. Diaclone, powered system, Diaclone, the Battle V2, Diaclone, Battle Buffalo Mark.4, Diaclone, Big Powered GV. Overall, I kinda like this set, but not favorite. This set is very cool, good looking, good details, good deco. However, the price alone will give you past this set. With no backward compatible, and lack of variety, give this set feel like incomplete. If you are a die hard fan of Diaclone Reboot, you should check it out. But if you want better play value and budget, just look at previous set, would be a better option. That is it, Trooper's Tridesher, from Takara Tomi. What yours guy think, give a comment below. Remember to subscribe our channel. Also, thanks for watching, see you in a next video.